Ladies and gents, teddy bears, welcome to the Ted Connorsby channel. How we doing? Hope we're all good. It's Monday, start of the week, what a way to start our week with uh, Ted's home, RAF Coningsby. How are we all doing? Hope we're good. We're about to see an Embraer take off. <laughs> Runway 25 in use. My name's Nikos, I'll be introducing you to our squadron leader Ted Coningsby who's uh, here bright and early with us. I'm hoping to get you lots of uh, lots of action today. It's going to be a hopefully a dry day today. So uh, Ted and I have been uh, exposed to the elements quite a bit. I feel like we're going to start to get a little bit uh, rusty in this uh, <laughs> a bit rusty in this weather, you know. Start off things with the Embraer from Morton Aerodrome. Welcome to the show, Ted Coningsby Channel, live here at Ted HQ, RAF Coningsby in Lincolnshire. Oh, yeah. Embraer ERJ145, the work bus of uh, BAE Systems, taking to and fro their personnel back to Walton Aerodrome, and of course they uh, commute to RF Lossy Mouth as well. of uh, typhoons of the Royal Air Force Coningsby Squadron start-up. Whistly sound, a whining sound as it starts up and then it goes into a roar. A little 
little bit gusting winds up here. Should be all right. Yeah, using runway 25, welcome to Bomber County's RAF Coningsby. And of course, those that know yesterday, we were at uh, former RAF Metheringham, which is part of number five group. And uh, interestingly, in 1940, Coningsby was under number five group as well, um, a bomber command group, which uh, is no longer. Here we go. Let's ride in an ERJ 145. There you go, that's our first departure of the day. <laughs> Will we see blackjack today? Whether a uh, whether a display or a regular training, I think we shall see. see. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy Bears, welcome to the show. Ted Coningsby channel. We're a bit on the wobbly there, Ted. Should we sort that out, mate? <laughs> there we go. We're all good, I think, there, Ted. There you go. I think, uh, think our tripod's had a good weekend, I think. <laughs> How are we doing? Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Ted's home. Ted lives at 29, just over there. How you doing? My name's Nick Oss, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Hope we're well, hope we're all good, feeling the buzz. It's got a little bit of uh, bit of light there going on. How are we doing? So, ready for some typhoon action. Started things off with an ERJ-145. How are we all doing? Hope you all had a good weekend. And those of you um, who have been in countries where we've been suffering storms like here yesterday, oh, I hope you are all safe and well after that. Absolutely getting battered, man crazy but uh here we are ted coningsby channel live and well at raf coningsby ted's home so it's home to the uh, five typhoon squadrons and uh we have three fighter squadron 11 fighter squadron our frontline combat ready squadrons and to our left we have 12 squadron a joint qatari a mirai squadron and uh, there are uh, joint operations with the royal air force and the qatari emirai air force we also have 29 squadron that's ted squadron that's the operational conversion unit and uh, they trained the junior typhoon pilots so plenty of qfis as qualified flying instructors training the next generation of typhoon pilots so they would have just passed their fast jet training at raf valley and uh, their career path if it was to be typhoon then they come here to fly with uh, 29 OCU. Now, interestingly, just to let you know, if they were to have the taste for a uh, F-35B, then they'll go to RAF Marham and fly with 207 Squadron. And finally, the next Typhoon Squadron is 41 Squadron, the Test and Evaluation Squadron. Their headquarters are actually at RAF Wannington, and it's also naturally home to the Typhoon RAF Typhoon display team. Also, lest we forget as well, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears, our historic aircraft of the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, abbreviated BBMF, which you may be more familiar with, uh, means Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. A museum without walls, ladies, gents and teddy bears, flying in honour and in memory of those who made the ultimate sacrifice. The Battle of Britain Memorial Flight 
in their inventory fly the Avro Lancaster six Supermarine Spitfires, two Hurricanes and a Dakota. And they also have in their inventory two training aircraft, which can be used for reccees. That's the de Havilland Chipmunk. So hopefully we may see them as well today. So let's see what we got on the menu, Ted. Ted's excited, I'm excited. Let's ride, here we go. A bit sharp light today, so we're gonna have to deal with that, Teddy. Let's see what we got. Should we put the ND on? Should we try a bit of ND or should we go? We could try ND. If not, I'll go to yeah. So I'm talking Ted stuff with Ted. Very good morning everyone, all good day, all good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're tuned in from the world, in the world, hope you're all well. now oh, I think this is getting ready as well Lady Shenta Teddy Bears no promises but uh, it's like some sort of uh, promising movement at the main ASP with uh, blackjack so this is the uh, display aircraft but can also be used in just as a regular training as well don't forget it is uh, named as blackjack serial number ZJ914 and of course, 28th of May, 2021, Blackjack was revealed with its new livery, giving its name Blackjack with the Union flag. Uh, took off at uh, five past 10, Zulu, and guess who was in there? Yep, Ted. Ted flew in the maiden flight. <laughs> of course, flown by the Godfather channel. That's right, our uh, legendary Flight Lieutenant, James Sainty who uh, revealed Blackjack on its maiden flight and uh, who also had a, a second pilot on board. That's right, Ted, squadron leader, Ted Connigsby, who was a pilot officer at the time. Ted working his way up the ranks. <laughs> Very good morning, good afternoon, everyone who's tuned in. How are we all doing? going past um, we do have fans on the base and of course drivers passing by <laughs> and don't forget to uh, hit that like button ladies gentlemen teddy bears let's start as we mean to go on it's gonna be a good one this week come on we are planning to be one stream down this week uh, due to the weather and that's tomorrow it doesn't look great at all I'll see what I can get up to tomorrow
So don't forget you can share the stream or share our channel to the world. And we're about to do that now. Click the share button, Lady Shin Steady Bears. The share button is a really good button to share it to the wonderful people in the world who have yet to discover the Ted Coningsby channel. Give it a go, hit the share button. Let's get this rolling. And we are in the uh, Spots Car Park in the official viewing area of uh, RAF Coningsby. And of course, as we do, we uh, have already contacted the base to let them know we are here. Sorry? Okay, yeah. Nice. <laughs> so, Lady Shen, steady bears, don't forget to hit the uh, like button. Let's get this on. Let's go. Let's ride. Here we go. So, we've got uh, Typhoons just taxiing now for departure. They are using runway 25. So they'll be coming towards us again. Here we go. And we've just got more Typhoons taxiing as well now. Welcome to the show, Lady Shenzhen Teddy Bears, your one and only military aviation channel. Oh, yeah. And of course, we are joined by our uh, very own squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, who's no stranger to Coningsby. He's flown several times here. Ted's even managed to uh, get a ride all the way to Czech Republic as well, Poland. He's gone everywhere. <laughs> Good old Ted. two typhoons taxiing to the left uh, so they'll be using the alpha holding points if you hear bravo that's usually the three or eleven fighter squadron end side of things sorry right. there they are Show, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Don't forget to hit the like button, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. Awaiting departure. Looks like there's some very strong crosswinds today. 
beach or sketch or something. Here we go. First departures of the day. Third shall be the first. <laughs> and that's the motto of uh, Free Fighter Squadron. And they are going to be the first. Here we go. in their climb with that that's the power of the typhoon typhoons ej 200 engines packing 20,000 pounds of thrust each and the the aircraft doesn't weigh a lot it weighs way less than that making it an amazing
Oh yeah. We'll see you there then. I'll see you there. Sammy B, how you doing? Very good morning. Christine Barnes, RSVP, Hank Vahul, Alan Burden, how you doing? How's it all going, members? Derek Reed, LC, Darren Harwood, how you all doing? Very good morning, good afternoon, and good day, or good evening, wherever you're watching from in the world. Oh, we got RAF Charlie, how you doing? Susan Kelly, Jonathan McDee, what up? Paul's high cheeks, David Wolfman Wells, how you doing, Spanner uh, Flight as well? How you all doing? Hope we're all yeah, good, yeah, Spanner Flight. Yeah. Captain A, Margot Baxter, Rebecca, Chris Bloxham, Mayhem Marshy, Captain A. I get an AV, how you all doing? Dr. Soda, how's it all going? Hope you're all well, ready for this. You can't go over yeah. there. Ted Connorsby Channel, have our very own span of flight to look after the uh, chats to keep it sweet and neat for you. Hope we're all good. <laughs> Perry, how you doing? Perez, Matt Man Bush, how you doing? Little Fozzy, how you doing? Little Fozzy, oi oi. Angus Cooper, how's it going? Andrea One, what up? Donna Abbott, how's it going? And also, Ted Connorsby Fighter Squadron, how you all doing as well? Hope good, posh officers and all our yeah. squadron members. How are you all doing? What up? <laughs> Ellie J, good, watching from Germany. How you all doing? John Minter, hope you're well, man. RSVP, how's it going? Manfredo S, hope you're all good. Welcome to the show. Take Connick Speed Channel. Yeah, so, yeah, we've got, them, we've got uh, in our sights here, we've got uh, Blackjack. Hopefully that, uh, that will go out. Looks like all the pins have been pulled out, so that's a good sign. So yeah, Lady Shen Teddy Bears, hope we're all well and ready. So it's just uh, 10 to 10 at the moment here in the UK. And uh, looking forward to uh, some more Typhoon action. Been treated to four Typhoon departures so far. And of course, one Embraer ERJ145. Hope we're all good. Thank you. 
idea, mate. <laughs> I don't know. That'd be fun, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, we've got a uh, 50k countdown, ladies, gentle teddy bears. We are not far. So, we are Lady Shenta Teddy Bears, plenty of you tuned in, not enough likes, so come on, let's do this. Ted Coningsby channel, this is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby, he's ordering everyone to hit the like button, and it's not like a Facebook or an Instagram post, Lady Shenta Teddy Bears. It does have a massive impact on our channel, if you hit that like button, hit the like, Ted's just showing you where the like button is, oh, those are your orders from our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Uh, the like button, if we get another thousand likes, for example, YouTube will recommend the stream. Ted's just hanging on to the berry. That's right, YouTube will recommend the stream. And once we get recommended, that's more exposure for us. And more exposure means more viewers, hopefully. And those viewers could convert to subscribers. So let's ride, let's do this together. Let's make this channel grow even more to become bigger and better than what it is. Can you imagine that? Come on, hit the like button. Plenty of you watching, plenty of you tuned in. Let's do this, let's ride. time to make some noise here. <laughs> time to get the tets out, ladies, sheds are teddy bears. Here we go. Morning, how you doing? Yeah, Mark, folks. Well, fingers crossed you'll get something. The Derek Turonyemi experiment, oi oi. Biking with Craig, great to, the, great to see the channel going so strong. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for getting the Ted's out. Check these out. Yeah, Richard Brown, thanks a lot, liked and shared. Perry, how you doing? Derek Reed, Colin Scrim, thank you very much. David Binch, LC, Rebecca, Margot Baxter, Little Fozzie, thank you. Daniel Walker, how you doing, man? DV, Richard Brown, Chris Bloxham, how you all doing? Michael Woodbridge, Ginger Bailey, oi oi, how you all doing? What up? Well, I'm hoping to get some uh, morphine action. Daniel Walker, thank you, and David Binch, Scorcher, thank you. Thanks a lot, Jen Fryer, for sharing it to Facebook. <laughs> so you will hear um, cars passing by playing the horns. Um, most of these are actually on the base, as driving past. They are clearly Ted fans. <laughs> and, uh, and you may hear an oi oi. That would be, I love that when that happens. Alex Bing, how you doing? He's given us an e oi. Yeah, we are. So if you'd like to know where we are, don't forget you can check out our No Ted's updated usually every Sunday on our website and of course on our YouTube community page. Don't forget. Yeah. 
and uh, our plan is uh, tomorrow, uh, sorry, Wednesday we are back here, but uh, I've got a bad feeling we are going to be doing a half day on that Wednesday. Avro, how are you doing, Susan Kelly? And for those that uh, unfortunately didn't get their guard to marches on our first part one stream at uh, Lake Eve due to the weather, where we, it was just impossible. Uh, I've got no, I've got a note of it all, so don't you worry. We will be doing retro guard to marches. We. So don't forget this year's call sign is not Anarchy 1, it's Turbo. And uh, 2024 Typhoon, RAF Typhoon display pilot is Flight Lieutenant David Turbo Turnbull. Now, the call sign Turbo that he's using, of course, if you've got a nickname, if there's a call sign with your nickname, take it. Now it's actually Six Squadron from Lossy Mouth's uh, call sign. So Turbo's borrowed it, and why not? If there's a call sign with your name on it, you got to have it. And that's exactly what's happened. What <laughs> turbo's in it? Mm. Yeah, he's in there. He's in there. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's ride. <laughs> yeah, cool past you know this. <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully he runs in down 2-5 and then by that tree, that's what he wants. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to rip the place to pieces. <laughs> yeah, so um, he'll go out. Yeah, right by that tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Does us proud, that young man. I that Turbo is an awesome fighter pilot and of course our display pilot for this year. You gotta hit that like button just on that course. Get ready, who's ready for the buzz, ladies, shins and teddy bears, we are buzzing. Craig right, Bruce, good morning to you. How you doing? There you go, there's the example.
How we doing ladies, gents, teddy bears, you're watching the Ted Connigsby channel live here at RAF Connigsby. How we doing? We have our 2024 Typhoon Display Pilot in blackjack right now. Hit the like button. Let's do this. Let's ride. Here we go. So we've got two typhoons as well before turbo. Here comes our first typhoons. Just before the hopeful practice display, here we go. display very shortly.
be running in to his display very shortly. So at air, air shows where, such as Riyadh, who will probably be taking off, going into a high performance takeoff and into the display. He hasn't practiced any of those yet. These are just pure practicing of a display. Of course, things, uh, air, air shows like um, Old Buckingham and Cosford, where he may not be landing there and being serviced. They'll go straight in from Coningsby, for example. Again, it'll be similar to this scenario. But Riyadh, of course, he will most likely go into performance takeoff. Uh, into the, we'll see a bit of it. So we'll go into oy oy, a hundred uh, foot fly past and straight into a rip roaring display. Get ready for this. Let's see. I wasn't even expecting them to be low last time. It was incredible. So he'll just get clearance from tower. Turbo One Airborne. So he's just uh, just awaiting clearance for a display. It's very important. Everything is managed by ATC. Everything, every single movement. I think he's coming in very shortly. He's ready for display. Here we go. Fasten your seatbelts, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Let's go for a ride. <laughs> right, get ready. <laughs> Here we go. He's exactly. Here we go. It's turbo time. He's going to absolutely destroy this place. Oh, hang in there. Here he is. <laughs> Oh, this looks good. This looks good. This looks good. <laughs> Here we go.
control of that slow roll. I should go into like a little leap into a max alpha. Control. Just give you a zoom out just to see turbo there. Look at this.
Beautiful, nicely done, Noriaf. Oh, Nice one turbo variety, hope you enjoyed that. So the previous Typhoon display pilot will be the mentor for the new display pilot. We'll be reviewing the display. With lots of uh, GPS maps and uh, in-flight cockpit, cockpit footage with all the info, data, ability G, full speed, altitude. Colourful language, I would assume. <laughs> uh, just kidding me. All good. Ted, see what his reaction was, you know, if, if it was good enough. Sure. 
did you think, Ted? That's what I thought. Ladies, shits, teddy bears, if you haven't done so already, don't forget to hit the like button. And of course, subscribe to the one and only Military Aviation channel. The streams live around the country. That's the one and only Ted Connorsby channel. What have we got here? It looks like we've got a C-130 up there. Startups, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. So, hopefully, more departures for you. Nice on Brighty and uh, Turbo. Thank you for putting that together. Of course, these things don't happen overnight. Lots of planning involved from the previous Typhoon display pilot and the new putting in a sequence together. So, well done to those two because it is a team at the end of the day. The Typhoon display team is made up of not just the pilots as well. Don't forget, we've got the armorers, we've got the safety got PR we got there's a lot so if you have a look at our uh, members only I think we've got a members only video of the Typhoon display team and their roles and what they do um, the we've also got a safety officer as well that deals with all the safety aspects as well so that's the in things like the ejection seat things like that armorers as well so simulated work as well and a lot of time put together with the Typhoon Display Pilot's mentor, which again is the previous Display Pilot. So well done to those two for that. And of course, the rest of the team. Don't forget to hit the like button. Triple one, hope you get back well soon. Watching from hospital. Cy Thompson, thank you very much. A little bit gusty up here though for me. I did better on my previous uh, previous uh, recording last time in my own self-criticism. I did better last time, but hey, you're gonna get days like that. Thank you very much. everyone that's tuned in thank you very much don't forget to hit the like beyond uh, do subscribe to the one and only Ted Connigsby channel so proud of our RAF says David Binch absolutely nice wave there definitely absolutely gorgeous wave there and a salute for our squadron leader Ted Connigsby Joel Spencer says that was stunning that's a 
you saying amazing lots of nice things said only half have hit the like button what's going on hit the like it does make a huge impact on the channel it really does hitting the like button will bring a typhoon Should we go? Overcast is, is good. Overcast is good, but when it's like this, pretty challenging. It's not as good as over there. And they're not impressed with the light. <laughs> I've got some of what look like the top shot. Oh, no, that's all right. Yeah, that's the big, you get more top shots here though, but you've got the light to, to challenge. Shanty Teddy Bears, hope we're all good. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Hope we're well, hope we're feeling good. Thanks everyone who's uh, joined the Ted Coningsby channel. 
We are on our on our countdown now to 50,000. And we've just hit 46 and a half K now. It's getting there, isn't it? Absolutely magnificent. Yeah, I don't know why. It, I can't hear it. I'm gonna have to bring it up here. Right, I'm just it's gone off before. Huh? It's gone. Oh, I've got it here. Yeah, no, no, thank you. everyone who subscribed today so we've just gone way over now the 46 and a half mark <laughs> Touch and go. Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Oh yeah, hope you're feeling good. Thanks for all your comments this morning. Absolutely wonderful. We're just enjoying a few circuits from 
29 Squadron Typhoon, and that's the operational conversion unit. Just carrying out a few circuits. There we go, lovely. to uh, come to a full stop or at least a slow down lovely so the uh, typhoon doesn't have elevators so they, uh, they have four planes okay. there we go. this is a uh, 29 squadron markings for those that are not familiar with it
Energy in the Typhoon uh, made of 82% carbon composite, the posh way of saying plastic. Even a bit of stuff attribute there now. Also the uh, canopy is made of acrylic as well. Not much metal on the Typhoon. Four different countries, ladies, gents, teddy bears with the left and right wing made in two different countries. Left wing Italy, right wing Spain. I know, and they all fit together. And you've also got the main fuselage made in Germany. A couple more parts at the back made in uh, by Leonardo of Italy. And of course, the Rolls Royce and BAE systems making up the British contribution and build of the Eurofighter Typhoon. Look at this. generation jet the uh, typhoon is a 4.5 generation jet generations are basically advancements in technology the advance of fifth gen are the full stealth attribute
tuned into the Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. Don't forget to hit the like button, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. This is the home of squadron leader Ted Coningsby. <laughs> he lives at 29. Don't forget, RAF Coningsby is a quick reaction alert station. That's QRA. And this is a 365 24 7. 24-7, 365 days a year. Operation to protect UK airspace. Also, RAF Lossy Mouth is another reaction alert station. So we've got Connigby of the South and Lossy Mouth of the North. What does that mean? That means if there's a threat to UK airspace, whether civilian aircraft or military, or even a carrier as well. We always uh, tend to relate to QRAs being solely for an aircraft going a bit rogue. It can also be used to intercept carriers as well, or boats or ships, etc. So regardless of what day it is, I just want to stand by here, ready to scramble, just like they were in 1940, which is when the built base was built in 1940, built during the Second World War. That's right. Just going to catch up on Friday's uh, guards marches uh, that we had to uh, abort due to the uh, stream having to finish a little bit early or at least interrupt is probably the right thing to say due to the weather uh, we did do a part two it was quite it was quite funny part one was literally the departures and part two was the arrivals we didn't really miss anything on those so uh, hopefully the weather will play ball but it's not looking that way this uh, this week it's looking a bit emotional to be honest with you but uh, hey that's the way it is <laughs> How are we doing ladies, gents, teddy bears? Right, so if I got this right... Oh, hang on. No, we're not going to do it, Ted, are we? We've got the partners, God knows what. Okay, no worries. <laughs> we will get you those cars.
If I remember correctly.
steady bits. Here we go. Let's see what we've got. Oh, is that for me? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Been alright? Yeah, didn't make it to Lake Creek. Oh, well. It was a bit soggy. I made it to the airport. Yeah, it was a bit soggy, man. Didn't stay too long. No. <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was uh, they, they set off at 7 30 in the morning at Lake Creek. And that was it. They went out, they came back, and that was it. They got finished. So, 11 o'clock of the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, that's very kind of. Uh, what's your name, sorry? Thomas. Thomas, right. Guards March for Thomas for the uh, Kit Kat and Coke. Thank you very much, man. Thanks to my Coca Cola and Kit Kat. Well, you know what that means when I have chocolate, more aircraft. So that's all good. Thank you very much. Right, I'm going to try and get <laughs> the Guards Marches from the other day. Now, I think I've got the list. So I've got um, part one, Guards Marches, Margot. Uh, Captain Pete Mitchell, remember to get Ted a salmon bagel. Thank you very much, Guards March for... Margot Baxter, thank you very much for the super chat on Friday. Babzar gifted a Ted Connors me membership on Friday as well. Guards March for you, thank you very much. Also, White Wizard gifted five Ted Connors me memberships on Friday. So thank you very much, Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much, brother. Uh, Ian Whitting, uh, G6UWX, joined the Ted Connery Squadron. Guards March as well for Friday, thank you for joining us. Margot Baxter for Ted oh, right. yeah, yeah, Suesta, yeah. thank you very much, Guards March. And White Wizard gifted another Ted Connery membership on Friday, thank you very much. Guards March for you, man. And uh, Paul Henry, member for 30, months. Hello, great stream as usual. Yeah. Hope all okay. Guards March for you for that. Right, now I think, I think that's everything. Tip or something, mate. It's over there. All right, give me a second, mate. Uh, Babzar gifted five Ted Connors me memberships this morning. Thank you so much, Guards March for you. Thank you so much, Babs. Good. Wonderful, thank you. And Margot Baxter, towards Ted's Fuel and for the RAF Coningsby streams. Always a joy. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Thanks a lot, Margot. Thank you. Uh, D Max Overland, oi oi, and a coffee all the way from Devon. Who's looking go, Who's looking forward to going to Ria? Well, we are. Thank you very much. We're possibly going to be in there on the, on the Saturday. Guards March for you. Uh, Margot Baxter gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Guards March. Thank you very much. LC gifted a Ted Connorsby membership as well. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. Gingeroo from the owner of Gingeroo Delivery Service is Ginger Bailey. What a way to start a day. Oh yeah. Thank you very much. Guards March for you, Ginger Bailey. Look forward to seeing you Friday, but hopefully it's a drier one. Uh, Margot Baxter, well done, Nikos and Ted Turbo. Thank you very much. And well done, Turbo. Thank you very much. Guards March. Nick Ward, celebrating 13 months membership. The greatest channel and the greatest family anyone could ever want to have. Thanks, Nick Oss, Ted, Claire, Bat, and Spanner Flight for everything. Guards March for you, man. Thank you very much. And that's from Nick Ward, celebrating 13 months of loyal service with the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Also got Nicole Peters, welcome to the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thanks for joining us, let's ride. Paul M. Hennings celebrating eight months of uh, TCS Bosch officers. <laughs> oh yeah, far, far, far. Guards March. And uh, Paul M. Hennings is celebrating by gifting a Ted Connors Me membership with that. Guards March for you. And finally, Tris Wood. Thanks for entertaining morning. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. You just want to be on the show, isn't it? <laughs> Look at these two. <laughs> they just want to be oi. <laughs> Give us an oi oi. <laughs> uh, you see what I mean? Anything to be on the TCS, right? <laughs> right, time for a tea break. Oh, you alright there? Yeah, how are you? Yeah, amazing, thanks. Oh, all right. Side yeah, yeah, I'm always hiding and stuff. Yeah, I'm here now. <laughs> I'll, uh, right, let's, let's whack a typhoon on here and I'm going to go and grab a cup of tea. Can we trouble you for a photo with Ted? 
Oh, no problem at all. But you get bored getting asked that, don't you? No, no, oh, absolutely not at all problem because that is part of the channel. Oh, right, there we go. We'll leave it there for a minute. I'm going to... Let me just check. Two seconds. I've got something coming in quickly. That's always fun. If it does, get your photo on me. Let <laughs> me just double check that it's coming in any second. Yeah, mine's playing catch up. It says something's right in. Yeah, nothing's coming for a bit. Okay, right, let's come down. Grab the tea. What time did you get it? Uh, eight o'clock. Oh, okay. Yeah, eight o'clock. Nicely done. Just chill out. Yeah. It's nice to just take it easy. Yeah, exactly. All the same time. Yeah. 
Take it, Jack. How you doing? All right, <laughs> mate. You're right. No worries. <laughs> it's very weird watching you up there and watching you and watching it live. It's all very strange. There you go. Brilliant. Thanks, mate. Appreciate that. Welcome. Thank you. You're all big under. Sorry. Picture. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he always watches on uh, YouTube. Yeah, no worries. No, no. Nice one, cheers. No problem. At all. He loves it. So he's watch this back when we get up. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Hello, hey, up, lad. You're right there, yeah. Where's the bear? He's here. <laughs> He's here. All right, here we go. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. Lovely. No problem. Thank yeah, you. no worries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF. Coningsby, hope we're all good. And uh, thank you everyone who smashed that like button. What amazing support we all, we all do for uh, the Ted Coningsby channel. Ted is absolutely proud. Massive respect to everyone. Thank you very much for that. That's so kind of you. Ted's proud of you all. Thank you very much. Thanks, Chris, for the update. Thanks, Fanafly, for the updates there. And all that you do, thank you very much. One thousand likes. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at you with the countdown. So, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, so we're back here. We're planning to be back here on uh, on Wednesday, but uh, just a little bit worried about the weather. So we may. We will be here, but uh, we'll see how long we're going to last in that. It's been horrendous. Yesterday was absolutely disastrous weather. So, ladies, gents, teddy bears, as we mentioned earlier in the stream, built during the war, not uh, before or in the early starts. It was like in 1940, and it was with Number Five Group. And for those that uh, saw uh, saw yesterday, we were at uh, former RAF Metheringham. We visited the uh, Heritage Centre, absolutely incredible, please visit. Uh, again, that was part of number five group, which is no more. Started life out here in 1940, with the first unit arriving here, 106 Squadron, in 1941. There you go, Nico. Oh, that looks amazing, thanks man. That's fine. That looks so good. I'll just pop them on the show just really quickly. Yeah, that's fine. They look good together actually. They do. So, uh, look at this. Literally. So, uh, gentleman's just a proud owner of the Remove Berry before flight. <laughs> and send it. Nice one. Hey, you won't lose your keys now. At least you can find them now. Yeah, that is Thank true. you. That's really cool. Thanks, man. And uh, I just noticed about the 106 Squadron. Double check there, Lady Shents, Teddy Bears, but 106 Squadron, we were talking about them yesterday at RF Metheringham. How interesting is that that they were here first? Isn't that interesting? It's just, it's just sort of cross-referencing. I'm going to do some more research on this. I love this when <laughs> things kind of interlink. So they, uh, the 106 squadron, uh, the, they had the uh, markings ZN, oh my word, that looks awesome. So we've just had an XR3i and now we've got something from the 1920s, I think. <laughs> oh my, right, that is incredible. So yeah, 19, uh, 1940, 1941, the arrival of 106 Squadron were here. And of course, in 1943, they moved with their Avro Lancasters to RAF Metheringham, which we were there yesterday. How amazing is that? But they started life here with the Handley Page Hamden bombers. And 97 Squadron joined them as well with the Avro Manchester. Do you see what I mean, though? The more I'm talking about this and all the history, I'm now finding with the lost airfields, you know, all the bits and pieces that I talk about where X squadrons were once stationed. Well, they were here first. How amazing is this? Six one seven squadron were also here as well. Incredible. 
I'm loving this. Ladies, gents, teddy bears, how are we doing? Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. And I'm just loving the fact that I spoke about 106 Squadron yesterday at RAF, uh, former RAF Metheringham with their uh, RAF, uh, the uh, Avro Lancaster bombers at Metheringham. And now I find out, and it's sure all coming back to me, that the fact that they were here as well at Coningsby. They were the first squadron to be here, 106 Squadron. And then as we found out yesterday, they spent three years at Metheringham with Avro Lancasters. It's incredible the way it all links. And of course, 617 Squadron were... Uh, once based here with the Avro Lancasters as well, but they swapped with 619 at Woodhall, and so 617 went to Woodhall, RF Woodhall Spa, and uh, 619 came here, but then they moved on to Dunholm Lodge, and so on. It, it's just incredible the more I get into involved in the historic side of things. Do you know what I'm going to do though? I'll tell you what I'm going to do this week. I'm going to do some more research about the actual, I'm going to go way before, I'm going to find out any any other sort of history about the base just like we do at Lake Eneath when you've got the history with the Saxon era the medieval times as well I mean that's incredible with the Lake Eneath warrior but I'd love to find out what what history goes before 1940 but um, what I did find of course this was a you know a parish here in Lincolnshire and um, the air ministry did what's called a compulsory purchase of the land to get an airfield for the uh, RAF Coningsby's operations. So that was in 1937. That's as far back as I've got at the moment. I've gone to, to 1937 at the minute. So I'm gonna see if I can go even further back. Maybe maybe there's some RAF flying core history, maybe not. That's not always the case. But not too far away, we've got Hull Beach, we've got former Sutton Bridge. Again, loads of, loads of history there with the Royal Flying Corps. It's just fascinating and, and it's funny because I was just reading out some of my notes about Coningsby and I said that 106 Squadron came here with the uh, the Hamdens, the Handley Page Hamdens and then I find out yesterday, I've been only talking about them yesterday at Metheringham. So it's quite phenomenal, really, really is, it's, it's amazing. And then of course um, the Avro Manchesters were here and, and in the end they had plenty of Lancaster Squadrons here uh, before things changed over in the early 50s with the very first arrival of the very first jet uh, at Coningsby which was the English Electric Canberra again fascinating stuff 1953 first jet the English Electric Canberra what an amazing aircraft and through the years 1962 to 64 Cold War started you know it was getting quite heavy in those times so they had the Avro um, Vulcan here only for two years I think it was the B Mark II the B2 version I think uh, it was here just for two years but of course I don't think it was suited to be here and they need it needed a bigger bigger runway so they moved that and uh, yeah and amazing and then while they still had the cameras here they were looking for a replacement and they brought in the the phantoms and they came here they uh, that was the replacement in the end for the phantom what, what a great show well, that would have been a hey, to see them uh, many of you lucky Lucky spotters got to see them as well. And then we find out that the Phantoms from here then moved to, in fact, plenty, lots of the squadrons, Phantom squadrons moved from here to Wattisham and then becoming the QRA at there. So gonna, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna find out when this was a QRA, because you also had a QRF, which is the Quick Reaction Force that was based at Lehman with the Tornado F3. So, you know, the more I do this, the more I talk about the history, it's coming all, bit, it's like a puzzle. It all, it's all coming together, which is an incredible thing. You know, the more I talk about, it. I'm getting better, getting a lot more relaxed about it. You know, I don't always, you know, I'm doing that this now without any notes. So all off the top of my head, here he is. <laughs> Squadron leader Ted Coningsby. So I hope you enjoyed the Foon action this morning. Uh, nice, nice moderate flow of typhoons and then maxed out with uh, turbo display so 29 squadron the let's talk about them for a little bit so the typhoon rf typhoon display pilots they're chosen from 29 squadron it wasn't always like this it uh you uh, lossy mouth i remember i think lossy mouth six squadron i think uh, used to um played a part in that so yep you are also probably thinking why is there a pilot every time because i think we have plenty of pilots 
um, as opposed to the other air forces of, uh, in Europe don't have that many fighter pilots to display so they tend to have more than one season um, so the the rotation of uh, Typhoon display pilots or at least display pilots are a lot more rotated because we have plenty of, of them to go around so 29 squadron nicknamed the buzzards by the way in case you're wondering what uh, if they have a nickname they do uh, again anarchy one is the official uh, call sign but this year is not it's actually the nickname of the pilot turbo and interestingly it does come from six squadron uh, for those interested in the air shows this year so um, plenty of you have probably noticed the f-35b from RAF Marum now it's performing what's called a roll down demo now they don't need a PDA now for those that don't know what I'm talking about you can't just take your aircraft one can simply I sound like that guy out of Lord of the Rings but one can sim anyone ready for a meme is someone get someone's gonna do a meme aren't they on discord uh, one can't simply bring an aircraft and just display it you need to have what's called a public display authority you cannot for health and safety just take bring your aircraft and just high energy maneuver it all over the place you need a PDA uh, sometime in May, Turbo will be assessed to get his PDA. It's a, basically an authority to say, yes, you've been cleared to carry out air shows and displays. These, the PDA is for high energy maneuvers and doing all sorts of uh, formation displays, okay? You need a PDA. So, once they get the PDA, a pilot ha cannot go more than 10 days without displaying. If the pilot goes more than 10 days, guess what? All that work for nothing because they'll lose their PDA, which means they can't display. But why can an F-35B do a roll display? Well, the answer is these maneuvers are not high energy maneuvers. These are basic maneuvers and uh, it's called a roll demo. So these are what's used in basic training. So the maneuvers that you'll see are from the basic uh, training times and that can be used on a uh, when, when the pilots just doing training we may have seen uh, the Apache at our uh, at the flying station Wattisham doing uh, like an air test so it will basically show off the maneuvers it can do on a more basic side of things so it's a roll demo so they don't need a public display authority for that same as the Chinook display team so if you if you can see that the roller coaster maneuver that used to do won't be doing anything like that because that is something like that is required to have a PDA so a roll demo it'll probably just do maneuvers like a few turns just to show off its um, its basic maneuvers that it can do and that's called a roll demo no PDA is required for that so with the red arrows training every day because they're a, a formation display team they'll be training all the time hence they don't want to lose their PDA all that work would be for nothing uh, should they should they do that and especially here as well with RAF Coningsby's Typhoon display pilot the BBMF will also be required to have a, a PDA because of course the nature of the aircraft they do a few uh, ener energetic maneuvers shall we say in formation displays things like that they'll need a PDA as well so the F-35B yes it will be an air show it's same as the Osprey as well it just you know it didn't really need a PDA the uh, air to air refueling demo again that's just a demo no no PDA is required for that all right so I hope that's uh, cleared things up just a just a little bit uh, so yeah hope you're all enjoying the show so far ladies sheds and teddy bears and uh, hopefully we'll get some more typhoon action and fingers crossed you never know BBMF could be you never know so yeah there we go so let's uh, let's pan it round see what we got see what's, uh, what else is happening. Thanks everyone that's tuned in today and supported the channel today, uh, getting it to 1,000 likes. So, oh yeah. Happy times, ladies, gents, and gentlemen. 17 Squadron were the first to uh, receive the uh, Eurofighter Typhoon at RF Conic 2005, followed by 29 Squadron, and followed by the uh, Fighter Squadrons, Free Fighter and 11 Fighter Squadron. Don't forget, if you do come here, please visit the Battle of Britain Memorial flight. Do get a uh, hangar tour. Uh, just give you a heads up. You can't take any bags in there uh, because you are you are going onto the you are officially technically going onto you know an active airfield, so you will not be allowed. So please don't be uh, alarmed. Uh, you know, please just you know have it somewhere safe. 
this one in your vehicle, uh, but you can't take it into the hangar on the hangar tour. There is a museum as well, and of course, a lovely gift shop. So do check it out. And of course, if you are interested in supporting the Battle of Britain Memorial Flight, you can become a member as well. Ted's a member, which was quite funny because I put Ted. Uh, they couldn't actually find me on there, um, which was a very interesting conversation because obviously I just put it in Ted's name, but obviously Ted's not human. So <laughs> cool, <sir. laughs> you can imagine, yeah, yeah, I, I just like, I couldn't get in, but Ted could live to there. So anyway, that's another conversation. <laughs> oh dear. Um, at the moment, let's have a look. Morning from Florida, Aero Scott, how you doing? get this year to celebrate we have our second Ted Coningsby official party We've still got tickets available got just 26 to go if you'd like to take part come and join us tickets are 20 pounds each it includes a buffet and uh, there'll be uh, a charity auction and charity raffles along with our latest and greatest merchandise as well Lady Shents and Teddy Bears dee 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 dee. Scorkin 7700. Uh, I can't actually see it. It's crazy. Believe it or not, I can't actually see that. <laughs> Seems to be in a bit of trouble. I can hear it, I can't see it. Let's have a look. Let me just. Uh, Seven seven zero zero is the emergency squawk code.
info on that. I hope everything's all right up there. Prefect, potentially from uh, RAF Cranwell, and it's coming on a score code 7700, which is the emergency score code. There was no, uh, I guess it didn't require any assistance, so I'm not sure what exact nature of the emergency was. So, uh, had the emergency services been uh, at the ready, I would have uh, re initiated my own uh, procedure as well. the emergency crew out. Guess I was wrong about that, they were there, they were just on the other side. Landing was spot on, let's give that. So I'm not sure what the nature of it could be the pilot or instructor, you know, the instructor or the, the uh, students, not very well. I'm not sure, I actually have no idea. done the landing looked like it was going to be good um, nothing else to report on that but uh, nicely done <laughs> my apologies the crash team were they just couldn't see them on the screen they were ready but, uh, nicely done you know what the emergency is no sir okay
right to squad group chaos full sign here to land Apologies there, that wasn't uh, chaos, by the way. Sorry about that. And this is uh, 29 squadron, sorry about that. <laughs> My bad. Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby, home of uh, squadron leader Ted Coningsby. He's just uh, watching his typhoons come back. Look at this, a bit of ground crew drew action. Oh yeah. Cool. Nice 1-5 crew. Big shout out to the uh, crash team 
medic and the uh, fire and rescue team, thank you for that. Keeping things sweet and neat and safe. Hopefully everything's all right with the pilots. The pilot and co-pilot of the prefect. They do that. Bless them. Legends. We're doing Lady Shins, Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby channel live here at RAF Coningsby. So probably Ted and I are just gonna go and have, uh, have a little break and have something to eat and we'll get refreshed. And uh, probably go and get some trucking. I'm sure Reggie wants some trucking.
ladies and gentlemen, bears, be right back. See you soon. Be right back after the break. See you in a bit. Lady Sheds of Teddy Bears, welcome to the Ted Coningsby channel membership. I'm Nikos, I'm your cameraman and commentator. This is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. Just want to say a massive thank you to all our members. Guns up and our year. Take it away, Ted. Lady Sheds of Teddy Bears, we want to say a massive thank you to all of our subscribers for getting us to where we are today. We have gone all over the country from as far as Lossiemouth to Bryce Norton and military areas such as air weapons ranges, low flying areas, heritage centers and special flights for TED2. We cannot do this without your support and your support will be rewarded. You can now join the TED Coningsby Squadron and help fund the channel to get us around the country and provide us with the funds for equipment to bring you better content too. We have three exciting membership levels with awesome YouTube perks to reward you back for your support. Our first level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Squadron. You'll get a loyalty badge on YouTube, unique TCS emojis that you can use on comments and live streams, members only videos which include behind the scenes, deleted scenes, sneak previews and also music videos that Ted likes to play the electric guitar on. You'll also get access to members only Discord server and discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All of this for just $1.99 a month. Oh, yeah. Our second level of membership is the Posh Officers Club. <laughs> this includes all of the squadron perks, private Posh Officers Discord chat room, Posh offers discounts on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise and the poshness of supporting the TCS even more. This is just £4.99 a month. Our third level was inspired by many of our fans who have been supporting the channel massively. So we'd love to reward you back with this and our third level of membership is the Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron. This gives you a more personal experience with me and Ted with exclusive live streams and content. You'll get a free Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron patch, a private Ted Coningsby Fighter Squadron Discord chat room, a gold color Discord username and a higher discount on all of our Ted Coningsby merchandise. All this for just $25.99 a month. Lady Shenton Teddy Bears, the Ted Coningsby channel cannot thank you enough for all your support. And it's this support that keeps the dream, keeps the stream. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, gear. Yeah. Yeah, 
to it, it's not for right to error, like me.
same place.
one place, I'm going to go and knock them out. Ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Right, that was quite a nice little lunch. Some chucking, some fruit. Happy days.
Ted Tap Salmon, he's all good. See you, man. Bye. So, who loved the display this morning? It's pretty cool, isn't it? Getting all the prep done there. No, no, no. Always good to see this. the uh, RAF Typhoon FGR4 stands for Fighter Ground Attack Reconnaissance Mark IV. The RAF's Typhoon max, uh, maximum speed of uh, Mach 1.8, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Other than the uh, the original Eurofighter 2.0 Mach max speed. So um, that's to do with uh, operational requirements. Of course, standard the uh, Eurofighter is uh, Mark 2.0. The uh, our Royal Air Force. It's tuned it down to 1.8 made of 82 percent carbon composite it's a 4.5 generation aircraft which has some stealth attributes you're on m8 how you doing good times and, uh, one of them is covered right now see the uh, intakes of the typhoon has a particular design called an s duct now this means it's shaped like a letter S, so if you were to stand right dead on in front of it, not that you would, but if you are lucky enough to, <laughs> uh, you won't be able to see the uh, compression blades of the engine at the front. And that is one of the uh, stealth attributes of the Typhoon, as well as the 82% carbon composite and as well as an acrylic canopy as well, so the less metal on the aircraft the better. Now the reason for the S duct being a stealth attribute is the the heat generated from the front of the engines with the compression blades are hidden so the radar won't be able to pick that up giving it another stealth attribute lots of weapon armament to choose from it does have a uh, mauser cannon as well a bk 27 27 mm. First flight in uh, in 1994, 27th of March. It was introduced on the 4th of August 2003. Many countries are the primary users as well of the air, the aircraft, and as well as other air forces, other operators. In ones Royal Air Force, German Air Force, Italian Air Force, Spanish Air and uh, Space Force, as well as Austria. Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, and a few others.
for our quick reaction alert aircraft. That's our number one choice here in the UK and we're 1435 flight at Port Stanley of the Falkland Islands. Again, that's another uh, quick reaction alert station as well. So we always forget about that uh, with regards to the typhoons. They uh, roam free out there. The uh, 1435 flight protecting the uh, airspace the Falklands. It was the anniversary the other day as well. I totally forgot. Normally I put a post up uh, with Ted and our T-shirt with our uh, Falklands War 2nd of April. It was the anniversary. First squadron to receive the uh, Typhoon was 17 Squadron, uh, who are based in uh, Edwards uh, Air Base in the US. They now fly the F 35B. So we're only uh, 14 subscribers away now from 46.6. We're climbing high, we're reaching places. Definitely climbing high here, Lady Shenz, Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby Channel. <coughs> The uh, Typhoon does have a horn as well, it has a canopy horn is one of the questions Ted and I were itching to ask. And it also has a smaller wingspan than the Spitfire, believe it or not. Welcome uh, Tim Gooch, Daniel Walker, Mayhem Marshik, Dr. Soda, Alex Binks, how you all doing? Meth. Roger Payne, Stu Martin, Alan Burden, Johnny B, how you doing? Marco Baxter, how's it going? Chris Bloxham, how's it going? Oi oi. Hope we're all good, ladies, gents, and teddy bears. Massive shout out to everyone who's tuned in today, and uh, hope you all enjoy Turbo's display. Got to keep it up. Oh yeah. Alex Binks, the uh, channel's in quick climb mode, it sure is. Welcome Hayley Gilby to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Oi oi, shout out to you, thank you very much. Guards March is coming up very shortly. D-Max Overland as well, gifting a Ted Coningsby membership and a super chat from Margot Baxter. Tris Wood as well, got a super chat. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Thank you all for the support. Honestly, it means a lot. It does keep us going, keeps us flowing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, it started off quite nice this morning, being sunny as a bunny. Overcast at the moment, cold, but that's standard. So, yeah, tomorrow's bit, pretty much a write off of the TCS, I think. It's heavy metal chrome turbo was amazing. And thanks, all of you who's uh, had some retail therapy for the uh, from visiting our online store. Thank you for those. Uh, big shout out to everyone in the viewing area. Uh, there is a burger van as well. Do make sure you grab a burger from there and uh, refreshments. Big shout out to them. Um, there's no um, charity store. I guess maybe they are here on certain days, perhaps, but uh, all is good. And the uh, we are in the spots car park. Do park sensibly, please. And of course, if you are coming to RAF Coningsby and you can use these house rules everywhere else, ladies, gents, and teddy bears, uh, please park legally and sensibly. Please use the bins provided if you are going to do that. We uh, we, we always uh, we're in a little habit of bringing our own bag and if you can put it all in a bag and then put it in the bin that would be cool you don't have to but uh, what we found putting like a little bit of tissue in a bin as soon as you open it it just goes flying straight out so we're we're trying to get into a habit of bringing a bin and if you are in a viewing area of no bins or in a particular area that you're spotting just take your rubbish home please uh, do not climb the fence do not jump over onto the base please uh, do not damage the fence don't cut the fence the chain link fence can easily provide you with enough with even even an iPhone or a mobile phone you can take photos then just enjoy 
and of course if you are visiting RAF Coningsby they have a red and white fence as well as Waddington please do not stand there especially if the runway is in use so 07 if they are landing from that fence that's red and white please stay away from it um, so basically just 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 don't be you know right up to the red and white fence stay away from it to the left or to the right of it uh, it's there for your own safety um, it's been made in and designed in a special way the uh, RAF Coningsby itself their official Facebook has put a, a release telling people not to stand there and of course in the approach areas as well please stay clear um, it is MOD property those lights as well so please be mindful not to damage anything and of course I don't think you can even be on that land but uh, just saying that um, just stay away from the approach lights and the uh, red and white fence, please, ladies and gents. Anyways, you could get a visit from the RAF police. Just telling you to please stay away from there. Of course, if you uh, are, uh, do not fly any drones either, please, ladies and gents and teddy bears. If you do spot anyone trying to attempt it, there are signs everywhere with a number to give a call to let them know. Don't get yourself in a situation as well. Just give them a call, let them know what's going on. It is for aircraft and crew safety. If you're watching the Ted Connorsby channel live here at RAF Connorsby, how are we all doing so? Won't be too long till we start to see more and more BBMF, that's Battle of Britain Memorial Flight. Oh, I reckon in the next week or two we should start to see more and more aircraft. is coming soon. It's, the, uh, it's like an assessment, public display authority. Pauline Gilby, how you doing? Derek Reed. Oi, oi. Hayley Gilby, how you doing? Stuart Skeggs, how's it going? Val Lissy, how's it all going? Oi, oi. Nice one. Nice one for getting the Teds out. Love it. G'day little fella, how you doing? Yeah, you all right there Red Tap? Yeah. I believe you were like flying around with the red arrows. Yeah, that's right, I've seen you today at Waddington. Hope you're having a good time. Hope your Red Arrows team are looking forward to your 60th anniversary. Yeah, my name's uh, Mozzie, I'm from Brisbane, Australia. That's right, with my mate here. Little fella, he's a funny little guy, little red tent. Oh, oh, where'd he go? He's a funny guy, isn't he? Where'd he go then? Oh, he's a funny guy. Should be flying F-35s really, shouldn't he? With his stealth like that. Look 
around for him. He's a funny guy. I do like the typhoons. We don't have them in Australia, but they're uh, pretty nice to look at. Quite a nice base here. Boy, I'll catch you later. Oh, good day, mate. How you doing? Right, I'm gonna go and catch up with my mate. You guys put up with the cold round here in Australia, it's always a bit hot, but uh, you know, he's a funny guy, that little red teddy. Right, okay, well, I'll catch you later. See you later, alligator. Behaving yourself, oh look at this. Oh, that's what I'm talking about there now. Oh, that was a nice one, isn't it? There now. Classic there now. You enjoying these pretty little planes. You see that little pretty one there flying around there now with that Union flag there now. Flying around, but uh, I like to keep my feet on the ground there now. It's right, part of the regiment, that's how we do it around here. We take care of the skies, I'll take the grow of the ground there now. That's right. I'm more of a Gurnt plane type person though, though. Well, I can just jump out of him there now. Can't really do that on a pretty little plane, can you there now? Uh, if you see that red dead fella, I need a word with him. He's been up to mischief. He's had a little call today, he's been up to no good there now. Been up to a little mischief there now. Yeah, but uh, better gonna have a little car park. It's a bit busy around here. We've got to see if he's all good, everyone all behaving themselves there now. Yeah, just had me chucking. Quick bite to eat. You can tell the regiment mushing it. You know what it is there now? The mush is like a sensor there now. I don't know what's going on there around there now. Make sure it's all good around here now. Yeah, if you see that red dead fella, we need a word with him there now. Well, I'll be right back there now. I'm gonna go and grab some more chicken there now. Got chicken delivery coming here now. Yeah, it's this way, mate. Yeah, around here. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. holding point Delta 2 along with the uh, runway 12 can be used by the uh, lighter aircraft there's a another it's not the main runway that the typhoons use or anything like that usually used by the BBMF or lighter aircraft especially in uh, strong crosswinds runway 12 and uh, 30 G'day mate, how you doing? Well that's alright. What have you been up to mate? You're always up to no good aren't you? You should just, uh, you know, chill out sometimes, you know what I mean? Oh, you got caught by that Reggie guy, you know? Not 
too fast. No. Well, that's good. Mind you, you red arrows, you like to, you know, keep in formation, keep it together. I like that about you guys, keeping in formation. Yeah. Well, look, listen, you behave yourself, mine, there you go. over there. Probably be on the show later. We'll find out. <laughs> How you doing, all right? Yeah, what came in this morning after the... What came in this morning after the... Oh, uh, a prefect here had an emergency. Thank you, have a good day. See ya. Hank for Hugh, how you doing? Alex Binks, how's it going? Meth, how you doing? Oi, oi. White Wizard, how you doing, man? What up?
we're doing, ladies and gents, Teddy Bear's Ted Conning's Beach Channel. Did you just hear the typhoon horn? Nowhere to go there now. Come back here now. Pretty little red plane, isn't it? There now. Come back here now. <laughs> red Ted, did you just growl? <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Crazy. Right, lady shunts teddy bears, right? So there's something funny about that. So <laughs> I was there for about 10 minutes blowing this, right? Little did I know I had a rip in it. <laughs> I was blowing and blowing and blowing, right? And I was thinking, God, it's gotta be done by now. Like a small thing like that is actually damaged unfortunately but here's me fighting a losing battle and it's got an absolute tear in it it's a bit of a shame i reckon it was reggie that sorted that out gutted man gutted but never mind we'll have to get another one so uh but he got away he was good he got away it was a good good move there from red ted um i better put that away before it becomes fod but uh, i hope you'll enjoy that little scene there now You what, buddy? I'm going to go sit back at home with more eggs. Oh, yeah, there will be. There will be, hopefully, within the next hour. Isn't it? 
No, no. What's that, sorry? Oh, wow, oi, oi! oi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. This one, then. Yeah, I think, um, the middle of January, I think. End of January, yeah. Yeah, it's good, definitely good. You been all right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah, how'd it go? It was all right, yeah, you good? Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll be, but I'm not sure what day yet. Yeah. Yeah, it was good this morning. Yeah, it was really good. Did you watch it? Yeah, I watched it. Oh, nice. Yeah, oh, that's good. That's good. No, oh, I bet. <laughs> What's that? Sorry. I think he uh, he did at one point. Yeah, he did do that. Yeah. Did it go? Yeah, that was good. That, that was nice. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> oi, oi. <laughs> uh, Tris Wood, thank you so much for the super chat. Guards march for you. Uh, Marco Baxter, thanks for the super chat as well. Thank you. Guards March for you as well. D Max Overland, gifted a Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you so much. Guards March. Hayley Gilby, welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you so much. Guards March for you. Finishes it off with the 9G turn. Nice one, Ted. Don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe to the Ted Connorsby channel. Do support us. Do join us. We are a fun family military aviation channel. We are a dedicated military aviation channel that uh, not only uh, streams the uh, the present, but we also make videos of our, of our uh, heroes and our past as well. To all the personnel at Coningsby, whichever role that you play, they're all important. They're an old. <laughs> Reggie's just recovering from red shock. Uh, red Ted's flying capabilities. I mean, he is red arrows after all.
How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Bears had a little shout out there, you may have heard from uh, Robert and Toby Goodyear. Oi, oi, hope you're all good and enjoying the show in the viewing area. All good. Right, let's see what else is going on, ladies and gentlemen. Bears. Thanks, Perry. I've seen something on uh, you sent me on Facebook. Thank you for that regarding some history from uh, the actual town of Coningsby. I'm going to have a look at that. You know me and the history. So yeah, any time between now and sort of 1500 local, shoot, get something. But it's never guaranteed. This is the exciting bit. This could be it for the day. You just don't know. I mean, Friday at Lakenheath, that was it. 
set off at what departed at half seven in the morning they came back done i mean <laughs> nine ten o'clock wasn't it or something like that wasn't it and that was it and the end <laughs> got destroyed by the rain in the meantime as well which is uh yeah but that's stuff i'm getting used to that getting battered in the rain And Rylan, how you doing, man? Hope you're well. Meth, Abel Curtis, how you doing? Patrick Mitchell, oi, oi. Alex Blackcat, Ellen Scott, Elizabeth LeBourne, how you doing? Hope you're good. So we're just uh, waiting patiently for the next wave of movements. But yeah, it was only uh, last May that I worked out that Coningsby had another runway. You can see the runway marker then, runway 1 2. I was like. Uh, I think the Spitfire used runway 30 and I couldn't see it. I was thinking, what is this? And then all behold, I learned there was another runway. I know, 1, 2 and 30. How cool is that? Like I said, usually used for the light aircraft, not the Typhoons. And uh, in very, uh, like in crosswinds basically. So, yeah, because obviously the BBMF, they are very sensitive to the wind speed. Well, so maybe a nice sunny day where you are and uh, at an air show ready for the BBMF and they don't come. It could be bec all because of the wind. It could be too much. If, if they are, there are strong winds. They won't go, the BBMF. In the end, they are historic aircraft and we're so lucky enough to have them flying with the heritage and the, as they say, a memorial and also a museum without, without walls. Amazing. <laughs> Nick Ward, how you doing? Just a big shout out to Span of Flight, keeping the chat sweet and neat. Thank you very much for what you do. The dedication to the channel, keeping it sweet and neat and lively, and uh, keeping it filtered from all the uh, non-family friendly words and uh, topics. So thank you very much for that, for what you do. They uh, organise their own little, almost like a rotor themselves, the volunteers of our, uh, of our channel, which while I'm talking about history or concentrating on the aircraft and filming, they're taking care of the chats, making it sure that it's all good for kids as well. So thank you very much for what you do. Thanks for your service. You do work hard and I'm very proud of you all. Thank you. Steve Broughton, oi oi. Val Lissy, Nikos, what is your favourite tea? Well, for those that know me, I've got a jar with every single type of tea that's in there. So it's a Nikos blend. I know, can you believe that? It's got, uh, I know it's got Yorkshire all mixed in there, doing their thing and creating their own fusion in there. <laughs> so it's a Nikos blended tea. I know, I've probably been frowned upon right now. <laughs> but hey, it's all good. I'll do that with my coffee as well. I've got a coffee jar with, it must have about, I don't know, 50 types of coffee in there. <laughs> Rebecca, how you doing? Hope you're well, thank you very much. Uh, Chris, thanks for that update. Let me just do a yes, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Alex Blackcat. Yeah, 
it's my own little brew. I love it. So there could be like three different, so in the flask I'll put three different tea bags in there. Or it might not, it could be, it could be all three. It could be a, it's like a lottery of tea in there. Marco, thank you, 1.3k likes, I know. I was like, how are we doing on our subs? We must be uh, doing pretty good, 46.6. Exactly, amazing, that is absolutely incredible. Nice one, everyone, thank you very much. Ava, who's six, tomorrow, happy birthday from Sophie Burgess. Everyone watching, tuned in from the uh, Spot of Star Park. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look, see what's going on here now. So we were treated today to uh, Turbo's practice display. With a hard deck of 100 feet. I love the way he just walks off, I love that. Just, it's hilarious. Oh, runway change is it? Are oh, we getting a runway change? This could be interesting. I did notice the wind's slightly blowing towards me. Oh, this could be interesting. That'd be quite nice actually. You might get your runway change, young man. Oh, really? Yes, we'll take off from here. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we got a runway change. Here we go. You are lucky, man. <laughs> yeah, runway change. Here we go. So a lot of work is actually put in to changing the runway. The comms have to be disconnected and uh, all plugged in. The um, the arrestor cable, the RAG, as it's called here in the Royal Air Force. That's the rotary hydraulic arrestor gear. That's to be ch changed over as well. Communications re-plugged in. This is uh, pretty cool because... Um, Oh, do you know what? With the sun being back here now level with me, you know what I'm gonna say, PTO time. Quite nice seeing a runway change. So yeah, the runway caravan will be positioned to where the runway, uh, to which runway is in use. So we get to see the runway change right now, right here. Rebecca, that was absolutely incredible, wasn't it? The Fido. I didn't know anything about that. I know, Fido, amazing.
amazing fog intense dispersal operation or fog invest, uh, investigation and dispersal operation it was amazing to even think that, that, it, that it was even a thing I could not believe it so if you're not familiar FIDO FIDO featured at RAF Metheringham uh, RAF Bravely as well I'm just trying to think of what uh, The airfields had them. Carnaby, I think, as well. Even runway one at London Heathrow Airport, apparently. But uh, that was the initial installation, but it never happened, apparently. <laughs> Amazing. So they were used. So if anyone's wondering what I'm talking about, Fido. Can you believe this, right? Check this out. So I learned about Fido yesterday, right? It is incredible, and we found them. I'm going to do a video. Uh, TCF members, I found them, so you see them in the end. I could not believe, right? So the, you, you've either either seen it, or uh, I posted photos of on Discord when we're setting up, or or you've seen at many of our streams where in the morning it's fog and it's completely low visibility, no visibility nearly. And do you know what? So during World War II, fog was a big issue, especially in Lincolnshire and, and uh, Norfolk, um, you know, the, the terrain it, to do with the heat as it rises in the morning and there's no heat to, to burn it off, exactly that. Do you know what they did? You wouldn't even, I, I didn't even know it was a thing that they could do, but how do you get rid of fog? You burn it, I know. So what they did, they devised um, almost like a tram line around the runways. It's incredible, the photos of this Lancaster with fire like near it, um, it's just phenomenal. And what they did is, it's to do with the, the, the change in pressure with the heat. So they burnt fog, I know, can you believe that? So you let, almost like uh, have tram lines around the airfield and underneath, let's say the tramline track was like a pipe and in there was oil that they burned and it would set, they'll, they'll, they'll fill it and it will just go, it will feed around the runway and uh, they'll set it alight and it will burn and it's to do with the heat trying to burn away the fog. Can you, I, I didn't even know it was a thing that you, they can even do, but it's very primitive in thought, but it worked. And these FIDO runways were just like, they were installed at many, I think it was 15, and I managed to find like the metal, the, the metal parts of the tramway where they, well, I call them a tram, not almost like tram lines, but uh, um, it had like a groove where obviously with the pipe like that, so the pipe will be filled with oil and it will just, um, once they filled it and set it alight. I mean, absolutely, it blew my mind to even learn about it. Speaking of setting things up, I think we've got a start up, have we? Yeah. Nice, but unbelievable, I can't believe it. I can't wait to tell you about it. So runways that were on fire during World War II. Um, I just, when you see a photo, just Google it, Lancaster and Fido on a runway. You won't believe the photo. It is, it is absolutely incredible. And learning about it at RAF Metheringham yesterday was just amazing, really, really cool. So uh, have a look at that. So runway change, which is, to be honest, I'm pretty excited about that because it's nice to see Two different one runway uh, and two different vantage, like two different um, views of the typhoon in one day, which is pretty cool. There we go. A little advert for uh, Foster Contracting there. What's that say? Hang on, what's that say? Uh, runway rubber removal. Rubber That's that. It's spoon time.
shortly and they're going to be using runway 07 by the look of it now so that's kind of cool yeah the wind is the wind direction has changed completely it's uh, coming towards me now so again aircraft will take off into the wind they go against it rather than go with it things going on at the moment I'll just uh, let all the crew do their thing for a minute this is RAF Coningsby Lady Shenton Teddy Bears home of the Eurofighter Typhoon F a GR4 there are a few T3s knocking around as well the uh, two-seater the family version Typhoon as it's called now will taxi right in front of us now for the use of runway 07 so when they land uh, they will we won't be able, we won't see them taxi past us when they land but we will see them taxi in front of us when they're due for departure again everything needs clearance so big shout out to ATC so pilots will do their pre-flight checks external checks first make sure there's nothing leaking or any nooks and crannies and all that stuff cracks any any issues and they'll do their uh, pre startup checks pre-flight checks so they'll check in first of all they'll check in with ground before startup that's the ground frequency that you hear and then it'll switch to tower on departure you'll hear the uh, ATC confirm a taxi holding point before departure and of course any instructions such as line up and wait etc to hear many different things if you're lucky enough to have one of those scanners Chief Ampulliam, oi oi White Wizard, Margo Baxter, how's it going? Hope you're all good. Mick T, Simon Watchell, how's it going? Oi oi. Let's get ready for Foon Time, 893 of you watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget you can support the channel by hitting the like button and of course subscribing. And if you are subscribed, don't forget to hit that all important notification bell button. When you do click it, you'll be given some options. Make sure you select all so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest live streams and videos. You don't want to miss out and of course if you want to share as well then share our channel or the stream or a video if you like it share it because there'll be others that probably haven't discovered our channel that you might know that would love it so let's not get them to miss out so share that'd be great i think we had our record amount of shares last month and views as well which is incredible 
Um, so Mark, how you doing? Oi oi to you. Tim Gooch, oi oi. Fab Zar, how's it going? Johnny B, how you doing, Doc Dutch? What up? What up? Here we go. 29 squadron starting things up for wave two. And the markings of uh, 29 squadron triple X. Ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears, it's boom time, part two.
So these are Hawk T2s uh, from RF Valley. T2s for RF Valley. We had two last time. And now we've got three. It's amazing. I nearly missed them. Beautiful. <laughs> I don't know if that counts as missing them, but because I've got them in the end. But yeah, I see your point. <laughs> it wouldn't be me if I didn't miss them, innit? Yeah, it is. Hawks are a type of uh, type of modified hawk of the uh, U.S. Navy, I believe. Don't know why they come up with goshawk on the uh, ADSB flight radar, but they, they come up under that. But uh, these are our hawk BAE Hawk T2s. Yeah, goshawks are uh, like, I think they're like a T45, aren't they, or something like that? I don't know too much. All I know is that the goshawks are the U.S. Navy type. I think. This side. There we go. And uh, these ones are based at RF Valley. So they've turned the left this time. Yeah, that's the one. Only a quick, quick look at the Boss uh, Hawk a while ago. So I was right about the T45. That's pretty cool. Someone was saying the same thing a while ago, and I was, I was saying that then they're, they're not Boss Hawk, not especially in the UK, especially BAE system ones. And, uh, yeah, 
I don't know why it comes under that. It's like the um, it's like the MC 130J as well, and things like that. It comes under. In fact, the uh, Red Arrows, I think, had an image of a, a, an F-16 today as well. There's a few issues. Yep. <laughs> Love it when it has issues like that. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy So yeah, almost missed three hawks. Almost. Nice break from the three of them there as well, actually. Pretty cool. They tried their best to deceive me. I was so close. I was so close to completely missing them, but anyway. Base there. Yeah, they are base there. That's the main thing, isn't it? We got it. So, two typhoons airborne at the moment. Hopefully, we'll have more. Good thing is, um, they are using 07, so a nice mix. Slightly warm at the moment now. It's getting a bit warmer, which is nice. getting there isn't it? 3,392 to go. Bye -bye, I uh, never thought in a million years we'd be hitting 50k at some point. Hopefully, fingers crossed, so I won't get ahead of myself here, but uh, it's not a, not necessarily a target, just a bit of a dream, but uh, looking like it's uh, more than achievable at the moment. It's incredible. Ted Coningsby Channel. Perform performance takeoffing or quick climbing out of here <laughs> up to uh, up to the, uh, 50k so the oh here come the hawks actually i can see them now so you even tried to deceive me on the way way down look at them i think it's wood We'll be there soon. I've got to just fit a day in to do that. I go once a year uh, along yeah, with uh, RF Lossy Mouth as well. Lossy uh, Mouth coming soon in September for our uh, three day adventure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the chaos. Of <laughs> oh, it is just great. I love it. I love it. I love the. Um, I love the. The surroundings, the location is wonderful. Yeah, the no. food, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. The hawks come down here. Yeah. All parts. Yeah. it'll still just be like, a, you know, one of them, like very nice ones, the very ones. I think it's going to be like that. Now. Because um, Tarbo, a couple of months ago, he won in his blackjack. He won in blackjack, he was just a big way to be nervous. Got him. Oh, you've been asking. The BBMF. 
together yeah, with the pairs landing and then a pairs take off. This is a pretty, uh, should be a regular thing at the moment, is it? No, no. Nice little shut down there. I think it was the Lancaster from there. Well, no, there's another one from there based in America, which could Uh, for those who spotted it, yes, there uh, is yes. a uh, English Electric Lightning. Oh. There are two um, cool. outside 29 Squadron and 11 Fighter Squadron. There's also a Harrier as well, but you'll need to kind of position yourself uh, by uh, the ATC and look across the airfield to see that. You can't see it from here, but uh, there is a Harrier. AC-130 
thought he has gone toward the KC one day. How's it going everyone that's tuned in? Yeah. Kimmy Bear, how you doing? Oh, Lee, how's it, it going? Yeah. Angus, how's it going? Hope you're all good. Oh yeah, red arrows. Hey, 400. Dad, I thought we saw it before. Here we have. Not taking off in the air. How you doing? All right. Oh, well, come down. How's it going? All right. Yeah, enjoying it. Oh, I love your top. It's all right, then. Thank you very much for my brownie. I've got a nice chocolate brownie, so I'm going to enjoy that on my next tea break. And uh, that's all thanks to uh, William wearing the Red Arrows top. Thank you very much. Dance March for uh, William. Thank you. Ted, the, week, the wind's picked up, mate. You, you take it easy with that, yeah? Yeah, you good. You enjoying it, Ted? Yeah? Ted loves his Royal Air Force and he loves Coningsby, of course, as his home. And what, what did you think of uh, Turbo's display, Ted, eh? Ted, what did you think of Turbo's display? <coughs> oh. no. Okay. Okay, I guess he enjoyed that. I don't know where it went. Oh, it's, oh no, overboard. Thank you, very recovery team. Thank you very much. <laughs> Reggie, the one that fell down? Yeah, yeah that's Reggie. Not top Reggie. <laughs> I'm 
ik zal hier bij zien. Zo goed, vanuit zo kan. Squadron up next, potentially, hopefully, which is a joint Qatari, a Mirai Air Force and Royal Air Force Joint Ops. <coughs> so, welcome, Mario Valley. To the mid. Spork T2s. <coughs> River almost, almost got away with it. See, there's one trying to hide now. Even the van's getting involved, <coughs> trying to hide. Look. Why did those black ops not next to me? They can. Thanks to everyone that's tuned in today and supported the channel, who's uh, hit the like button and subscribed to our channel. We are slowly creeping up to that 50,000. We're getting there, oh, 46.6K. That is a phenomenal amount, to be honest. I only put a post up, uh, what was it, two weeks ago or a week ago, was it a week ago? It was a, a year ago on that, on that day, let's say a week ago, that I hit 10,000 subscribers and I went full time last August and now look where we are. Second. No. No. You mean a selfie with Ted? Yes. <laughs> I've just held him the head. Oh my god! Two times. Don't battery check while I'm down. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're going back. How are you doing? All right. You enjoying the day? Yeah, we've not been here before. Have you not? No. Ah, cool. Oh yeah. Here I. Well, that guy couldn't fly tomorrow. Shit, he's fast. 
Yeah, yeah, he's great. He's good. <laughs> That's cool. Something's taxiing. Dad. Dad. Something's taxiing. Something's taxiing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Let's roll. Let's ride. Here we go. We're riding with 12 squadron, are we? Or... You can hear some uh, foon action from the right side of the base. That's right from our side. From our perspective. But it's amazing how sound travels, though, right? to Typhoon, Lady Shenta, Teddy Bears, oh yeah. So that soot that you can see on the port side of the Typhoon, that is the um, the APU, Auxiliary Power Unit, Lady Shenta, Teddy Bears. That's where you can plug in a Typhoon and just start it up at the uh, touch of a button. I know, how cool is that? Lost your keys, push your button. And off we go. And that soot is like the, uh, it literally is soot from the fuel that's burned stains the aircraft pretty fun when you're using it when you're trying to do like scale model aircraft i love doing that bit on the typhoon to use a cotton bud and really just to make sure it's a really dry bud dry cotton bud and just sort of dab it on like soot it's quite cool i know everyone's got their own different ways when they're doing scale models here we go
I don't think they need chance to teddy bears. Let's ride! It's boom time. Lady Shenstony Bands, hope you enjoyed that. Nice to see some reheats. and steady bears so we're all good nice to have a runway change as well though isn't it right like to see a different perspective straight away in the same day which is really cool
Today we've had a number of Typhoon departures. We've had a uh, practice display from uh, Turbo. And we've had that three Hawks from RF Valley arrive, which I nearly missed. Pretty cool, right? Sounds like they're coming here for a refuel and uh, heading back. Gas and go. Haven't had a PTO yet. Had some reheats on that one, very slightly. Just a little bit, nice little cheeky reheats on that one. Which is really nice, good to see. <laughs> and uh, if you are on your way to the uh, Spotters Car Park, there is now an ice cream van, so come and enjoy ice cream. <laughs> Thanks everyone that's tuned in. It's uh, wave two. We've got a few typhoons up. Or scamp, what we got? Four, five? Five, would you say? Five? Nice one, Kimmy Bear. Nice one, well done for having the uh, red loyalty badge. But we're proud of you as well, so thanks for that. Very kind of you, thank you. Justin Edwards, welcome to the show. How you doing? Mayhem Marshy, LEJ Approach, Kimmy Bear, Tal Trassin, Angus Cooper, Margot Baxter, Dom Dominic Nabel, how you doing? Chris Bloxham, Mark Atterby, how you doing? Tim Gu, Troy Oi, Meth, Rebecca, how's it all going? Johnny B, what you doing? How's it going? What up? G Van Pulliam, White Wizard, what up? Are you sitting there like a total eclipse in Texas today? I wonder what time that'll be. Play Bear's sister lives over there. Hello. And an ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Doing well, we're doing well. Doing well. It's uh, 14.18 local here in the uh, UK. And uh, been treated to a great day though, really. Who's enjoyed it today? Who's enjoyed it? It's only Monday. Sadly, I think tomorrow, it, I think the weather's going to get the better of us. I'm just going to double check. But I haven't put anything on for tomorrow at all. The weather just looks horrendous tomorrow. 45 miles per hour winds. Just uh, with loads of rain as well, which is going to be brilliant. It looks a bit emotional tomorrow. Oh. Yeah, it looks like some savage storms tomorrow. Hi, are you alright man, how you doing? I'm sorry, I'm good. good. Thanks man. Thank you. Thanks man, thank you. Thank you very much. I was hoping a bit of the memorial flight would not look like it now, does it? No, I'm not too sure, I don't think so. And definitely not tomorrow, not with the weather tomorrow the way it is. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Wednesday. Unlucky for me. Because I'm back at work. Oh no, well you never know, I might get a spit fire maybe later on. Maybe. What did you think to the typhoon display? Oh yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I tell you what, I like the way you did that negative G push up. That must have hurt. I don't care how good, don't matter what age you've got, that hurts your body. Oh that's going to hurt, yeah, that's nasty. Lake and Eve the other day, but yeah, not a bad day down there. Good. Nice. What sort of camera are you using? I see it's a Panasonic. 
on it, yeah. <laughs> I've got, I'll tell you what I've got, and I've got some good food with me. Uh, so I've just got to be right back, actually. I've just got to grab my tea. I'm coming down anyway. Yeah, I've just got to grab my tea. Where's up that heart? I'll go up for it. That's what we want. Yes! Engine stops! I knew! Enjoy. tuned in Ted Coningsby channel live here at Ted HQ that's why the QRA station of the south aka RAF Coningsby and uh, it's a lovely day here in the uh, Spotters car park things are going to be a little bit different tomorrow so I've already pre-planned a no stream tomorrow <laughs> but I will be somewhere getting some footage for you you know how it is
Jonathan McDee, how you doing? Hope you're good. I hope you're well. here at RAF Coningsby. Hope we're all good. We are back here on Wednesday and then Thursday we are potentially going to Waddington and then Lakeneath on Friday. Uh, any changes don't forget to check out the community page on YouTube. Every Sunday we update what's called No Teds. That's uh, it's, they're like No Tams but they're No Teds. Notification of Teds for pilots so they can do their thing. Because usually it's known for Ted to bring the luck. Prominent sound, sounds like an engine test, an engine run, a ground run. Turnbull Kitchens in bathrooms, set up lorry go, but is that to do with uh, Turbo? Is he just, is that his own van? <laughs> Nice one, let's get all the Teds out. Actually, members, you know what to do, it, it's emoji time. We don't get to do this quite often. So let's do it. Let's show your support for the membership and uh, whack out some emojis, go for it. Thanks everyone, it really does help. So if you are a member and uh, you comment, please uh, don't forget to use uh, our uh, your members emojis on our comments as well on our videos. Because people do ask me, how do you get those? It's like almost like advertising our membership. So go for it, it's cool. Thank you very much everyone for that. Oh yeah. So bottom left, just a bit more info for you. The uh, CAO code. We use the uh, what we use to identify the runway. It's an international civil aviation organization code. There is a free letter uh, version as well with the IATA. We don't use that one uh, just to keep it consistent. We use the uh, free uh, the four letter system of the ICAO. Again, that's the International Civil Aviation Organization. And uh, each country and, and region in the world. It's a unique identification for that runway. And it's a very clever system because each, each letter means something to some extent, like the first letter is the region, the second letter gives you the, uh, the country, and then the last two digits are the respected identity for the actual airfield itself, for example. So that's why EG Echo Golf will be on all airports in the UK.
again, just to confirm, it consists of four letters and it's a classification among countries and regions and they're using creating these codes. So again, first letter region, second letter is the country itself. And then the uh, other two letters are generally given in order of the uh, respective runway. Enjoy! Throw some out there, uh, the letter Y, Australia. Letter S for South America, you've got K for the USA. E is sort of like the northern part of Europe, shall we say, and L, the sort of southern part. arrive earlier today just not too long ago shall we say here we go it's like Ted's aircraft ZK381 it's the world's only four-seater typhoon yep there it is that's Ted's aircraft ZK381 Ted flew in the uh, in this aircraft Trooping the colour. That's right, the King's birthday last June. Oh yeah. Said K381. Ted was in the letter R formation of the CR as he flew over Buckingham Palace. Oh yeah. Know what if you want to know what it looks like inside ZK381? Here we go.
<laughs> that was absolute. <laughs> a nice aileron roll there, right at the top. That is a proper. That's Typhoon right there, man. <laughs> Woo, yeah. That was something else. <laughs> Rest in peace, car alarms. <laughs> I'm alright, thank you. Nah, thank you. I've still got my tea, but thank you very much for offering. That's very kind of you, man. Thank you. What did Ted think of Let's find out. <laughs> Should we find out? Yeah. We'll just hear from our squad. Ted, what did you think of that, mate? Ted's still trying to work things out here. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good, that. Yeah, I got it. Really good. That was a really good one. PTO. I actually didn't know there was going to be three performance takes. So that was uh, another PTO from Ted there. <laughs> oh, man, that was just absolutely incredible. Best things come to those and all that. Woo! Full on, it was a full aileron roll at the top on that second PTO. I can't wait to see that. Did. That was definitely one of the best PTOs ever, that. I mean, I didn't think it was going to do a full-on Ellenron roll there. And it did. That was absolutely magical, that. That was stuff. That's probably my favourite PTO. And I'll just, I'm just gobsmacked at the minute. One thing after another here. I'm just looking at it back, I'm watching it back. It's definitely worth a second. Oh my word. Oh. <laughs> that, <laughs> I've just watched it back. That is just incredible. Yeah, the that was probably that's probably my favourite performance takeoff I've ever seen. It was just perfect. It was really it was just everything about it. Wow. The thing is when you've got more than one uh, departure like that, you yeah sadly the first one, I mean that's where the TED cam comes into it. I didn't bring it today. Um, but um, that's where the TED cam can come into it because the first departure I kind of have to cut that departure short and get the next one um, and luckily I stayed with this one you know because it's just one of those things because maybe the first one did the same as well we'll never know but um, but that second one oh, oh. 
and then the last one kept the uh, reheats on for I don't know until it reached Scotland I don't know it, it went far <laughs> that was probably already in lossy mouth that one amazing that is a great example of the Typhoon's performance you know not many it's very similar performance to the English electric lightning having the fact that it's got more thrust than it weighs so it's only a few aircraft can do this but it can actually you know uh, accelerate vertically an amazing 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 aircraft absolutely amazing <laughs> yeah amazing Margot says it's already in the outer Hebrides amazing I'm not I wouldn't be surprised well I may be having a an email from the pilot of that uh, departure they usually do if they want footage so there we go I've got a uh, expect the quick climb and that was amazing i didn't expect that the first one came on like are they all doing that do you know when any of the typhoons are landed i can't miss that not at the moment not just the, yet the, do you reckon the first batch that came out earlier do you reckon they'll land soon um there's one heading back uh it's over litchfield so i back. just don't i just don't want to uh, miss the landing yeah it's about another 15 minutes Oh, should I, do you reckon I should go where, there? wherever you want? Wherever you want. Oh. It's so hard. This don't have any autofocus because it's broken. But I've used it. Just focus on it. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. You're lucky the run may change. Yeah. Such a quick change. gonna double check okay cool yeah good you're right good 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 can we get a photo of you that's one yeah give me one second we may have a Chinook inbound oh, okay give me a sec I'll be down don't worry So 
it is over there. All right, listen out for a ba blade slap, Lady Shanta Teddy Bears. Get ready. Oh yeah, it's coming here. Cool, it's just over there. Shall we go back? So, uh, yep, Chinook, coming in Vortex 384. Checking in for the ride. Coming in. Kale's 5-1, just a few minutes out. 
really quick. There's a chaos flight just coming back. I got a few minutes. You didn't run a bag, you got a nice bag. How's it going? Alright, yeah, you enjoying the day? Yeah, very good. Yeah, good. Okay, here we go, where are we going? Uh, yeah. yeah, let's do it. Where are we going? Do yourself, yeah. Thanks for that update, Craig. Thank you. General handling. Yeah, so we'll be turning, so it's not coming in. That's fine. Let's do some general handling. That's cool. Gives me more time to uh, recuperate there for a minute after those. I'm still buzzing from those uh, PTOs, but that second one, you know the one. Beautiful element roll. Sorry? What can I expect to see? Expect the unexpected, oh, but... No, no one knows anything then. Plenty of typhoons. Oh, is that, yeah? Oh, right. <laughs> about, about, I'll see something then. Uh, yeah, How's it going? Daniel Walker, oi oi to you. Colin Scrim, how's it going? advertisement so if you uh, would like your runway paved <laughs> or remarked and resurfaced you too contact <laughs> anyway
Ginger Bailey, thank you very much for the super chat. Hope you're good, man. everyone for the support today it's been immense it's been really really amazing thank you all so much for that plenty of you super chatting and uh, taking out ted Collinsby memberships and gifting memberships as well thank you all for today massive massive respect to you thank you all so much because without your support you wouldn't be able to keep it flowing keep the channel growing I'll tell you what it's just been an incredible year already enough to have a, a day that's uh, a little bit yeah sunny as a bunny <laughs> another tcs term quote catchphrase you know it is A lot Jakey H2000, best channel for military aviation, never disappointed. <laughs> yeah, bye, oi, oi, take care, see ya. Day it's been ladies gentlemen teddy bears amazing oh yeah i mean this is amazing 3366 to go for 50 000 subscribers we are proper buzzing now
14,000 feet, so let's see what's going to happen with that. Keep an eye on that. Good. There they are.
clear to land, here we go. So I wonder how many children have been inspired to join the Royal Air Force in these school holidays. How many? That's what it's all about. is right here lady shenton teddy bears and we are lucky in this country to be able to uh, to be able to be here i mean we've got a, a viewing area a dedicated viewing area which is you know many countries let's face it you can't even take photos of in a civilian air, airport and um you know how many times have you been to an air show when you were a kid you wanted to be a pilot everyone wanted to be a fighter pilot right <laughs> top gun come out oh, i know dare i say it air wolf come out and all i know <laughs> but uh, you know how it is um, but uh, honestly that's that's why it's really important to you know keep air shows that's why you know how do you inspire children or our future generation of pilots how do you or even our future generation of um, of crew because at the end of the day at air shows there are stands there there are even even um, the catering team as well the catering of the Royal Air Force catering all this you've got armorers there you've got the regiment stands that are there you've got the cadets there you know to get all that flowing from a young age i just think it's just one of the most important things for for air force is to have air shows it's one of the most important things you know and um you know and how do you promote your your aircraft as well because at the end of the day it creates jobs as well at the end of the day if you can you know because that's what air shows were all about it was showing off your your production it was showing off not only your air force inspire new pilots and crew it was to inspire uh, for sales of that particular aircraft and that's how it all started and it's really important to keep that so we're lucky to have this as well again another you know where you know we could see the red arrows train every week nearly every week obviously they do go away and go to air shows but we are lucky enough to have viewing areas here it's phenomenal it's good and i think it needs this this needs to be maintained in my opinion um I, i'm sure many of you would agree and uh, it, it's the way i mean sainty inspired by um by the sunderland air, air show when he went i know that much and um you know and other pilots would have you know our future gen pilots gone to air shows and uh, got inspired and here they are so there we go lady shenton teddy bears thought i'd, thought I'd ping that one out doing lady shenton teddy bears I, yeah i am aware that when when the two ship came in uh the chinook did depart it was one of those what'd you take you know just pick one stick with it make a decision just do it don't think right oh, I can't, uh... Hey Nick, also to be fair, I think you're an inspiration to a lot of people, so thank you. Thank you very much. No, I don't 
It's just gonna. Here he is. Oi, oi! Ginger Bailey, thank you for the super chat. Thank you very much. Guards March for Ginger Bailey. Uh, Perry, Matman Bush, member for seven months. Many years of happiness and love to my nephew Joe, who's getting married to Molly on Wednesday afternoon. Nice. Congratulations to them. Nice one. Voiceless Druid, welcome to the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thank you for joining the TCS. Thank you for that. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. Also joining is Pauline Gilby. Welcome to the Ted Connorsby Squadron. Thank you very much. Guards March for you. And a Guards March for Marco Baxter for gifting a Ted Connorsby membership. Membership as well. Ted, carry on. Just carry on, mate. Oh, it's gone, it's gone quite far. Okay. doing ladies shanty teddy bears hope we're all having fun that sounds promising those startups <laughs> thanks a lot k gallop ted keep up the good work thanks a lot hi we're all here too all the way from sunny cheshire to samantha jones don't miss the Hawks leaving. Where are they? <laughs> That'd be pretty cool because they'll taxi round here. That's good.
if you spooling that noise, that sound. That is definitely a foon. run on that one. Jackson, how you doing? Hope you're good. Not sure if Flapjack's going back out today. It can do, it can go on a regular sortie. I'm not sure if it is.
is on its way back as well, oh, at least coming here for a, a pickup. For those uh, interested in the uh, Let's Ride t-shirts, I'm hoping I'll get them online next week. They should be arriving any day, any, any day now. Um, the baseball hats are the long-awaited. I've gone now with a fourth supplier. They've just got back to me. I'm trying to get them ready for you. Uh, so they're going to send me a mock-up. <laughs> Let's ride. Hopefully this is the one. So I'm just waiting for this just had the quote now come through and I just need to see uh, the material I need to I need to have a sample I can't be just ordering 
without because uh, I'm glad I didn't on the first two because I wasn't happy with them. The third one is, uh, hasn't got back to me now. It's going to take too long. So the fourth supplier now. This looks promising. Next day, quote, great. So um, I'm just going to get a mock up so I can have a look at it. We've also got high vis jackets coming soon. I know. High vis. Be safe. Be seen on the main ASP at all shows. Keep it in your car. Some countries you have to have a high vis. Yeah, there we go. So we've got the uh, Ted Connors behind vis jackets coming soon. Sounds like a nice bird, doesn't it? Why? So that was pre-recorded, that noise you can hear. I don't know. It's not the usual sound you hear from the AWCU. Are you going to be based here or what? Anyway, so we've got Felix coming in very shortly, I think. Oh, I'm probably wrong, I think it's over here now. I think they are curlews. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, there they are. Curlews. Great shout, you two. Yeah, that's them. Look at the uh, beak.
Oh, that's low, man. <laughs> Beautiful birds. Shout from uh, just two of you, I think meth and mm -hmm. someone else mentioned that. Nice. Pilot's just getting in the Hawks now. So Felix inbound, which is the Embraer ERJ145, just on its way. Felix, it's the ERJ145.
17 degrees tomorrow. Look here, you see it's 11 degrees. All of a sudden it's changed around up to 11. Thanks a lot everyone that's joined in today. Thank you very much for uh, joining us on the Ted Connery Speed channel. Sorry. UK's number one military oh, aviation yeah. streaming channel. We'd like to keep it that way. So do support us. Port will be departing very shortly, I do thought. as well, yeah, we'll take that. I'm not sure about this one here. Anyway. Should be seeing them depart very shortly.
starting up just now. T2 starter.
Yeah, come on, mate. Squadron here, Lady Sheds and Teddy Bears. Oh, Mario Valley.
don't forget to hit the like button, ladies, sheds of teddy bears, and subscribe to the Ted Conifby channel. Support our much loved military aviation channel.
Well, does anyone have a feeling that, that might, they might have been Red Arrows pilots? Um, I don't know. I, I've never seen a triple departure other than from, like, display teams. And uh, I don't think they were a display team, uh, obviously. Um, <laughs> oi, oi! <laughs> I mean, I've never seen a triple departure. Now we've got a chipmunk. Don't go anywhere, ladies, sheds of teddy bears. Ted Coningsby channel. This is going to get good. There you go. Oh, is this using runway 1-2? It is. We've even got runway 1-2 in use. Oh, look at this. I'm getting excited because they're using runway 1-2. I think for the first time on our stream, I think. I think. Uh, maybe last year that we might have had one or two. Definitely 3-0, but 1-2 is good. This is amazing. There you go. I did say they can use runway 1-2 and they just have. Well, I am gobsmacked by the triple departure. I mean, I know it's called a pairs takeoff when there's two. What is, is it? A triple takeoff? Triple departure? Amazing. Thank you. Ladies, gents, and teddy bears, look how mean they look.
that's fine, let's taxi him back. Right. Quick battery change before it all goes. Felix departing right now, here we go. Good timing. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Teddy Bears, Ted Coningsby Chow, live here at RAF Coningsby. Ted's home. He's having a good time, Ted. He's loving it. And, uh, I don't know really where to start with really with the action happened today. I mean, we had a triple departure. I've never seen that before, other than of course air shows. 
an aerobatics team, but of course, I don't think these were, but they could have been, and anyone know if they were red arrows? They certainly broke, went into the break like red arrows, with the, but uh, I've never seen, like I said, other than air shows, I've never seen a triple departure before. Unbelievable from the Hawks. Um, the best PTO, I think, I, I can safely say I've ever seen, or at least it's certainly up there. Um, but that one was a beautiful one. I think the positioning was good as well, where we were. And of course, Turbo's display. Um, we've had a Chinook, we've had an emergency landing from a Prefect. Anything else? <laughs> certainly sorted that out got the uh, battery changed over I thought it was going to depart uh, but we're all good uh, so we are coming up possibly for another hour left to go Hi, mate. yeah how you doing all right good all oh, right yeah. nice one what time did you get here? Uh, we left about half seven, got here about quarter past ten, and we were down at the end of the runway, so we saw about what was about six or six or seven planes come in. That's fantastic, it's so long. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we started to drive around here, and of course the wind changed. Yeah, yeah, they've there. changed runway now, so you get the best of both worlds, yeah. Uh, yeah no, it's Good. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Thanks. It means a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, uh, don't forget if you are tuned in and haven't done so, please subscribe. Come join us. Do you know what? We're only 24 subscribers away, right? From 46.7. <laughs> this is incredible. I mean, what a climb out is that, and it's only Monday. I know we're going to be a stream down sadly tomorrow because of the weather. I'm really gutted about that. But do you know what? I'll take my kit anyway, and I might even, even if I can pull off like an hour stream somewhere, but I doubt it. Um, but we'll see. It's, it is horrendous, 45 miles an hour winds, and then uh, bits of rain here and there and everywhere. So it doesn't look good for tomorrow. So for, for the kit and my own health and safety, just left that one out. I think maybe after today, could do with a day off, maybe. <laughs> Brilliant. Still got the chipmunk out. Yeah, still got the chipmunk out. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the one where I had to split it into two because it was rain. Horrendous, that was absolutely shocking, but yeah. You never know, you might get, you might get anything, you just never know. 
but with that Embraer gone, I'd say that was it. Pizza. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they were from Bali. They um, filled them up. There was, and I've never. Sorry. Yeah, the Chinook. Uh, it's come in and gone. Yeah, that's gone. That's gone to Don and Nook. On here. coming in. I'll try not to miss these ones. <laughs> oh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Teddy Bears, another three RAF Valley Hawks, flight of three. I shall try not to miss them. Three hawks. Just over there. Any minute now.
think it's Hawk and Nikos training day today. day just gets better and better doesn't it? I mean, <laughs> um, amazing. I guess they're going to get refueled and go. <laughs> when they use one with one two and I'm here. This is gonna be <laughs> You too, enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take care, bye. This is it's great. Yeah, 
BMF using runway 1-2. This is the view we're going to get. Beautiful. It's awesome. it up a little bit more. Oh, look at this. No 
worries, enjoy. Doing lady fence teddy bears, hope we're all okay. good. <laughs> what a day it's been, lady fence teddy bears are six hawks, a couple of villi visits from the Chinook, amazing triple departure, some PTOs. One of them being my favorite ever I've ever seen, I have to admit, that was definitely my favorite. turbo's display amazing lots to think about lots to enjoy from today's stream and uh, of course thanks to everyone who came to see us today for uh, a photo and, a, and some autographs as well thank you for that no worries anytime my pleasure okay the uh, hawks are just here already okay they're taxiing right okay i was gonna say that was pretty quick back this way for whatever reason which is fine at least we get to see them Barry off, I knew you'd get a bit excited about that.
Ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears. Hope you'll enjoyed that. Wonderful. Welcome to Aria Connonsby. What a day it's been today. It's been an absolutely incredible show today, I have to say. Up there again, they just get better and better, don't they? Take care, see ya, bye now.
there we go, Lady Shint Teddy Bear's just coming up now to our end of our show. Thank you very much. Everyone that's tuned in, thank you. Thanks a lot. I'll just check if there's any uh, guard marches to do as well before I go. Nick Civic, thank you very much. Welcome to the Ted Coningsby Squadron. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking up Ted Coningsby membership. Thank you very much. Can't march for uh, Nick Civic.
KC135, there we go, just up here. Thanks to any bands you haven't done so already and just joined us. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, join us. Ted Conning Speed Channel needs your support. Let's uh, let's have a subscribe from you and of course drop in a like as well. Let's get this stream absolutely right up there with one of our top.
Look at this.
beautiful. <laughs> well, what a day it's been. Nice way to end it with some hawks. I mean, what a great inspiration this is. These pilots of these hawks are just one step away from coming here and flying typhoons in their RAF career. It's a fast jet pilot. They are just one step away and I love this sort of transition. This must be such a buzz to see the very aircraft they could be flying next should they successfully pass their uh, fast jet training at RAF Valley. That's just one, literally one step away. Love that that thought that you know that prospect of these pilots that they've got coming up for them. And let's face it, the way they got into formation was absolutely wonderful. And even at Cranwell, they, they even with their grob tutors, they look prefects, they look amazing when they form like that. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, I did nearly miss that. Whatever you go, ladies and gentlemen, teddy bears, what a day it's been. An absolutely incredible day, filled with pretty much everything. It's pretty good. And I hope you've all enjoyed that. Not sure what way they're taxiing back, whether they're going to hit a left or a right. Hitting the left. You're welcome, Tal Trussin. You're welcome, Pat Murphy. How you doing? Colin Scrim, Daniel G. Thank you very much, Kimmy Bear. News. So it looks like they've refueled one hawk. We're just doing the second one. To those that have visited the Ted Coningsby online store as well, thank you. That's been busy as well today. Fantastic stuff.
thanks everyone who's tuned in today hope you've all enjoyed it it's been an incredible incredible day and uh, we're just uh, coming up to the end of our show now lady shunts teddy bears it's uh, time to reflect on the day even the bears were quite entertaining <laughs> oh lady shunts teddy bears how are we all doing how we're feeling hope you enjoyed that ted Coningsby channel bringing you live military aviation ted let's wrap this up mate it's been an incredible day, hasn't it, Ted? What do you reckon? Ted's enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it, and I hope you have too. My name's Nick Oss. I've been your cameraman and commentator, and this is our squadron leader, Ted Coningsby. We've had an absolute ball as well today. It's been an absolutely amazing day. Really, really good, and I, I hope you all enjoyed it as well. What do you think? Let us know just now before we uh, finish up and uh, say our goodbyes. Uh, so it doesn't look hopeful for tomorrow. I ain't, I ain't even planned any streams for tomorrow. It does look really, really vile tomorrow, so we're going to have to skip that one, but we'll be back here on Wednesday uh, back at Ted HQ so Ted it's up to you mate do you want to just hang around hang out with the RAF Valley crew yeah we're gonna go and see him all right mate well we could do that yeah definitely that sounds pretty good uh, we'll probably uh, just pack up and go, uh, go up to the fence and do it the old traditional way what do you reckon <laughs> thanks everyone for the support today really really good from uh, thanks to our fans and our, uh, our members as well. Thank you all so much. Viewers, thank you. Those that have subscribed today, really incredible stuff. Thank you very much. Span of Flight, thanks for looking after this, the uh, stream and the chats there, sweet and neat. Thank you for that. Absolutely incredible. Really, 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 really top stuff. Thank you very much for that. Thank you for your service. And of course, all of you who've gifted memberships as well, thank you for doing that. It's very sweet. It's a really kind thing to do. Really, really good. It's, um, it's it's it, it's like giving and then multiplying it because not only have you gifted and made the channel uh, in a better position by gifting and you know adding another member, you've just made someone's day by making them a member as well. So that's that's absolutely incredible, really really good. And it's Ted's flag this time. Um, and then of course those that have taken out Ted Connorsby memberships as well. Thank you very much for doing that, taking out the memberships. Brilliant, really good stuff. Thank you for that. And those that have donated uh, through uh, Super Chats, thanks all of you who've done that. So basically, literally, that leaves me to say thank you to RAF Coningsby for today. Um, it's been an incredible, look at this, look at this. I mean, what a way, to, what images to end the day at. I mean, this is what we're talking about. Just sums it up. When you've got the transition of our future generation of, of fighter pilots, here they are. These boys and girls, these men and women, these pilots in these Hawks, are going to be looking after our UK airspace. That is their goal. That is their. That is what they're going to do, and I think that's an absolute value and an asset to see that. And it's so good. I love the transition there at a base where they will be. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We wish them the very best to get to RAF Coningsby and train with 29 Squadron to fly the Eurofighter Typhoon. I mean, that is just a, a real goosebump way of saying it because at the end of the day how nice is that to know that these men and women have more to look after the country do you know what I mean and the skies I think that's amazing really really honoured we're really honoured I don't know if they're going to tune in these pilots I don't know if they know where uh, the TCS and how proud we are of them all but we sure are Stunning scenes here at Coningsby as we see the Hawk T2. Beautiful. I mean, how cool! So you're that, you know, you're, you're sitting in that cockpit and you're looking at that typhoon, going, "Yep, yeah, oh, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to fly a typhoon." Look at this, I love that transition right there. That blend of that dream, that focus, that goal. I mean, that's incredible. Oh, look at this, what, I picked the right spot there. I may have a reputation with Hawks, but I've done a good one there. Look at this. I had to choose that Typhoon, didn't I? Amazing, yep. They'll be looking at it going, yep, yeah, that's what I want to do. That is my goal. I want to fly that. I want to fly the Typhoon. And it's very realistic. Very realistic. It's 
So that's it, ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Bears. Thank you very much. RF Ali, well done. Thank you very much for uh, for that. Uh, let's not forget the uh, Chinook from RF Odium. Prefect, I hope you're good. The crew in that Prefect that came in with a 7700 squawk code. And yes, I didn't get to say it, but thank you RAF Coningsby for what you do, protecting our UK airspace, thank you very much, and the rest of the Royal Air Force as well. Thank you very much. Whatever role you do, whatever role you play, you are one family, one unit. RAF Coningsby, let's ride. <laughs> oh, love you all, much love to all of you. Thanks a lot, RAF Coningsby. So for the last time for today, it's see you soon. Wish you well. Take care, everyone. Be good. Enjoy. Well, Strafe, well that was a busy day, that was incredible, I hope you all enjoyed that, my name's Ozzy, and uh, just wondering where everybody go, where'd everybody go, how you doing squadron leader Ted Coningsby, how you doing, good day, I hope you're all good, yeah, did you enjoy the show, well that's good, that's good, that's good, On a nice base you got here. Really good. Is there anywhere to go for some uh, for some scot? Well, that sounds good to me. We'll have to get some popcorn and go to the cinemas. Yeah, why not? Okay. Well, let's go. Right. Thanks a lot, everyone.